Hey guys, now let's talk about images. So to enclose an image on a page, we use the IMG tag. Notice that it has no closing tags. Some important attributes include SRC, which is used to locate the source of the image. We have our width and height, which sets the width and height of the image in pixels. And specifying both these parameters together may distort the photo. So if you want to scale your photo down, just use one of the two. Next, we have our alt, which is used to show an alternative description. And this is in case we want to display additional information and it's for users who cannot see the image. Now we can specify the image from an absolute link in case it comes from another server, or if it's hosted in the same server within our folder, we can use a relative link. All right, now let's look at some code. So my first picture is going to be of the HTML5 logo as my alt attribute describes and it's going to come from this website here so I just copy that into my source and my second image is going to be from the same directory so here's our directory here and this is the picture I want so I just put in CSA logo.png and I'm going to scale it down so I'm going to change the width so that's 1200 pixels and then I'm going to have an alternative text description as the code snippets academy logo Notice that I'm wrapping this around some A tags in order to make it link to my home page. All right, now let's test this out. So now you can see the HTML5 logo as well as the Code Snippets Academy logo, and I can click it, and it should take me to my YouTube channel. Before I end this video, I wanted to go through some sample image formats. So for JPEG, we get a more compressed image. However, the original becomes a little distorted and the quality is slightly decreased. For GIF, we can have no more than 256 colors, which means our resolution would be lowered, but our file size also becomes lowered. For ping, we can have 16 million colors as well as alpha transparency. This could make a very high resolution image, but the file size may be also high. So when you're thinking of loading images on your website, you have to balance the image size with quality as a super high resolution may take a lot longer to load on the page. And if your users are a little impatient, they may navigate elsewhere. 